Hello again, my name is Gabe Zolna. This is the 8th of April 2018. Just watched a rather interesting little video. Joseph Paul Watson, and he has a guest on. This is on the Alex Jones radio show, InfoWars. Title, South Carolina introduced secession bill over gun rights. People even talk about totally repealing Second Amendment, which separates us from the entire rest of the world, says South Carolina lawmaker. South Carolina debated seceding from the Union more than 150 years ago, one of the opening salvos of the Civil War. Now the topic has come up again amid a national debate over firearms and gun rights. A trio of State House Republicans on Thursday quietly introduced a bill that would allow lawmakers to debate seceding from the U.S. if the federal government confiscates legally purchased firearms in this state. Representative Mike Pitts, the measure's chief sponsor, acknowledges Friday an interview with the Associated Press that the bill has no chance of passage this year but pledges to continue to raise the issue based on what he described as a defense of the Bill of Rights. Without a Bill of Rights, our nation is not what it is, Pitt said. Now there's an embedded video that you really want to watch. It's uh, most interesting. And I'm inclined to agree. There's been an all-out push by the left. What they said is they want to get rid of the Air 15. I said that's not true. They want to get rid of all of our guns. They want to get rid of the Second Amendment. One of the Parkland survivors said, now that you've given us an inch, we're going to take a mile. We want it all. Folks, that's their game plan. But what I think is going to happen is what's discussed in this attached video. Joseph Paul Watson believes that with so many Americans that are supportive of the Second Amendment, they're going to come out and vote, whereas they might not have voted previously. They know what's on the line. And if a Democrat gets in to the White House, kiss your gun rights goodbye. If they take control of the Senate and the House of Representatives, kiss your gun rights goodbye. They're not going to stop with the Air 15. They want them all. And they're so stupid, they don't understand what would happen to us, us law-abiding citizens, because the gangbangers aren't going to give up their guns. And they're the only ones that are going to be armed, other than the police. And the police will come when they're called, and it's too late, because we'll be dead. Well. I guarantee you, they're not going to get my guns. Well, they might get them, but I won't be here any longer. They didn't give us those rights. And they can't take those rights away. President Trump needs to get on a ball and stop this craziness. And so does the Attorney General Jeff Sessions. They both need to get on the ball. We need to expose these false flags for what they are and what they were. And they're all done by the whacked out Democrats. They're the ones that are doing it. I posted a video this morning about that totally worthless piece of crap attorney general. The one that ran the country to the ground with Fast and Furious. Eric H. Holder Jr. And what did he say? Years ago, he said, we've got to brainwash the American people against guns. That's what he said. They haven't given up. We can't allow them to take control of any of the chambers, and especially the White House. Listen to what's said in this attached video. Pass this along to your like-minded friends. Get them out to vote. We need more Republicans, not rhinos, like Senator Johnny McCain or Jeffrey the Flake Flake or Susan Collins. We need true patriot Republicans that will protect our rights. That's sort of what I think. Watch the clip. 
You let me know what you think. Thanks for listening.